Today I want to give you a quick overview of Google Forms and one of the quickest ways to create a Google Form is to open a new tab and type in forms.google.com and when you do that forms.google.com Google actually just opens up forms for you. The first one is a blank form. You can click that and it just opens up a blank form. You can use it any kind of data gathering. You can use it for a survey or Google now allows you to create quizzes. The second template is a blank quiz and it's already set up as a quiz. So if you wanted to make a quick quiz, just click this. But also Google provides you with different templates to use. Another way for you to open up forms is to click in the upper right hand corner in the Google Apps waffle, sometimes called a waffle, and select Drive. And once you open up your Google Drive, click New, More, Google Forms, and when you hover over your arrow, you will see Blank Form, or you can click from a template and you can choose from different templates. In this case I'm going to click a blank form. The first thing you, the very first thing you want to do when you open up a form is give it a title and this one I'm going to call exit ticket. And when I click in the upper left hand corner it will automatically name it for me. Now the thing about it is if you want to start it right here if you'll notice in Google Drive that you have starred, a starred category, anytime you star something, it puts them in that category and it's quicker, it's sometimes a quicker way to find things that you really want to find quickly. Okay, now when you first start, you're in the tab that says questions and this is where you put your questions. But there's also a tab over here that says responses. And this is where you go to set up the spreadsheet so that when your students answer the questions, you can see each of your students' answers. So you'll have your student's name and their answers and each of your, it, this is where those will be recorded. So if you click on this little spreadsheet, it says create spreadsheet. If you click this, create a new spreadsheet, create and it automatically opens the spreadsheet that will be created with this one. I'm just going to close that out now and go back to my questions. So my first question is going to be what is your first name? And if you will notice, Google automatically knew that that is going to be a short answer. Now, if I hit Control, Shift, Enter, it takes me down to my second question. And my second question is going to be, what is your last name? The reason I want these two questions is because I want to be able to sort by last name and so I want to, I, I highly recommend putting your first name and your last name. Now, what is your first name? Notice down here I have required. They must answer that. They can't just skip it. What is your last name? Required. They must answer that. Now my next question is, What was our topic of study today? Short answer. Required three things you learned today. That's going to be, okay, that's going to be a paragraph. Required. Now, if you will notice up here, there's a little settings gear. When I click on that, if I want to make this into a quiz, I can make this into a quiz by clicking 
um, make this a quiz, but in order to do that, I have to assign point values, and I don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm going to go back, but this is where you make it a quiz. Okay, I'm going to limit it to one response. This is also where I collect email addresses. Edit after submit, see summary charts. I'm not going to do that today, so I'm going to save this. But I want to allow other teachers to use this form. So I'm going to click on the three dots, and the three dots always mean more. When you click there, it gives you more options. I can make a copy of this. This is where I move it to the trash. This is where I add my collaborators. So in this case, I'm going to use, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to invite people. And I'm going to type in Cindy Walker. And I'm going to click on her name. I'm going to send it to her. I'm not going to notify her in this case, but I can. I click OK done. Now, in Google Forms, it's just like any other Google file or any other Google document. As you type, it automatically saves it for you. So, this is the end of mine, and I'm good with this. So, I just want to send it to my students. So, I'm going to send, click send. I am going to, I can send it by email, or I can get a link to it, and I'm going to shorten that link. I'm going to click copy. And now I can put that uh, link in Google Classroom or an email and it's ready to send to my students. So that is the quick overview of Google Forms.